In this example, we're going to find the sample size that corresponds to a given margin of error. So if we want a poll to have a margin of error of 2% or less, what's the minimum sample size needed to make that happen? Remember, the margin of error looks like 1 over the square root of n as a percentage. So we can write times 100% just to indicate that we're making it a percentage. So if we want this to equal 2%, then really what we want is we want 1 over the square root of n to equal 0 0.02. So as a decimal, we want 1 over the square root of n to equal 0 0.02, or as a percentage, we want it to equal 2%. Now we need to solve for n, and it takes a little bit of algebra to do so. There are a few ways to observe this. One, if we want to get n by itself, we could move it out of the denominator by multiplying it on both sides. So if we multiply it over there, we get 1 equals 0 0.02 times the square root of n. And then, again, we're trying to get this part by itself, so we'll divide both sides by 0 0.02, which gives us 1 over 0 0.02 equals the square root of n. Now, there's a shortcut to this. At this step, you could say we have 1 over the square root of n equals 0 0.02. You can actually flip both sides of that equation upside down and get square root of n over 1 equals 1 over 0 0.02, which gets you to the same place that we already did, just by a shortcut. Don't get too lost in that step if that doesn't make sense, but there are shortcuts to some of this algebra. Once we get to this point, though, we just have one step left, which is that we need to square both sides. Now, before I do that, I'm going to simplify 1 divided by 0 0.02, and that simplifies to 50. But now, to get rid of that square root, we just need to square both sides. And the square and the square root will cancel each other. When we square 50, we get 2500 equals n. So that's our answer, that if we sampled at least 2500 people, we would be guaranteed to have a margin of error of 2% or less. And if we sampled more than 2500, our margin of error would be less than 2%. But as long as we sample 2500, will be guaranteed to have a margin of error of 2%.